Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. In my next few videos, I'm going to make a coordinating cosmetic bag and tote bag that will have six pockets in it. Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a matching pouch that holds your personal tissue pack that you can keep in your purse. So let's take a look at this little pack here. Okay. This is about, oh, the finish size is maybe two and a half by uh, five inches or so. What it does is it holds these little packs of tissue. Now, I use these all the time because I have allergies. So I never leave the home without one of these. The problem I have with this little bag is I lose the plastic tag. It gets caught on something or the bag tears and my tissue starts hanging out of the bag getting dirty. So what I like about this, there's no plastic to rip, no tab to lose. It just stays in there and it looks pretty and attractive and it also makes a nice little gift idea. So let me show you how to do this. Let's get started. This project is so quick you don't even need to take notes. Okay? What you want to do is cut out four squares. They can be the same fabric or different pieces of fabric. Four squares that are four inches by six inches. Now, if it's really heavy fabric, you only need one of these, okay? But if you've got a uh, regular lightweight cotton, use the two layers and bring the wrong sides together, the back side of the fabric together to where the pretty side is facing out on both sides, okay? Then line your squares up, these two right here, okay? Let me put my eyeballs on so I can see a little better. Then take your other two pieces, okay? Fold them in half like this and press it with your iron. Then take the raw edges and put it on the raw edge here, okay? There you go. Now, take the other one. Here's the raw edge. I'm going to put it here. Put it there. Bring the two folded sides real close together. Then take straight pins and go ahead and pin it around all four sides. Then go to your sewing machine and from this raw edge here, come in 3 8 of an inch and stitch all the way around. Now when you come to your corners, leave your needle down and press her foot up and turn the tissue holder to stitch down the other side. On the folded areas, make sure you go back and forth a few times to secure it, okay? Then after you've done that, you're going to trim the corners off, okay? So it makes it look a little nicer when you turn it right side out. So trim at a 45 degree angle to this stitched corner here. So cut across there. Then come over here to the side and cut into that edge there and then from over here cut in. Make sure you leave about an eighth of an inch right in there, okay? When you're done, it should look like that. Then go ahead and do a zigzag stitch around all four sides. And when you're done with that, go ahead and turn it right side out, okay? Make sure you poke out all your corners and then go ahead and slip your little tissue pack inside. Now you can take it out of the plastic or leave it in the plastic and set it inside there. So let me show you what it looks like. Now this was just scraps of fabric that I had. You can make these so fast, okay? It looks really pretty on the inside too, even though nobody sees it, okay? Well, I hope you try to do that. Now in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make the matching cosmetic bag. And then the video coming up after that is that six pocket tote bag. So you have this beautiful little set that you can make. Give it out as a gift, okay? Well, I hope that all this has been helpful. Now, to keep informed on all my future videos, 
click on one of my subscribe buttons. There's one down there in the lower right hand corner. It's red. It does say subscribe. Or towards the end of the video up here in the upper left is a round picture of me floating around. That's also a subscribe button. When you click on that, YouTube will prompt you for your email address. Enter that information and the next time I have a new video, YouTube sends you an email with a big button in the center. You click on it and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl. I'm really glad you came to my sewing room. Now see you next time and happy sewing.